Hey guys, Camille here. I wanted to talk to you guys about transitioning and the four stages of transitioning hair. So I was reading a blog done by Chime Edwards here on YouTube. Her name is Hair Crush. She teamed up, I believe, with Carol's daughter and did a blog post about the four stages of transitioning hair. So I just wanted to talk to you guys about the four stages and maybe we could figure out what stage we're in. <laughs> so the first stage is called the lost stage. And this is where most transitioners decide that they're going to go natural and they're early on in their transition and they start to say, now what? She recommends to go ahead and find books, um, YouTubers, that are either transitioning or had transitioned and does a lot of videos on the process of transitioning. Um, she also says that we should decide on hairstyles um, and how we're going to transition, whether we're going to rock a weave, do braids, or do curly styles. In her post, she does not recommend doing braids early on just because the short amount of new growth and the long amount of relaxed hair and the heavy weight of braids. That's not a good combination for the line of demarcation. We may end up big chopping sooner than we think due to hair breakage. So the lost stage is basically where you decide to go natural. And for me, I know I went straight to YouTube looking for natural girls and looking for people who were transitioning um, hopefully around the time that I was, or at least someone who had transitioned and did videos on it. So the second stage Chime talks about is called the weird hair stage, and I can totally relate to this stage. This is the stage where you have a little bit more new, new growth going on, people start to notice there's a difference in your hair texture, start to ask you about it, and you have more bad hair days than you do good hair days just because you haven't perfected um, hairstyles and also you haven't perfected on how to actually care for your hair you're still figuring things out and I definitely went through this stage I would say between seven six months to nine months around that stage and yeah hats were my best friend um, I also used a lot of quick weaves, half wigs, extensions. If you go back and look at my old videos, she was spot on with actually all of her stages. I think I went through all of them. But yeah, this is a stage where you will want hair accessories, hats, and just kind of buckle down and know that you're going to get past this stage, you know, and you're doing a good thing while you're transitioning by letting your hair grow out. But that is stage number two, and it's called the weird hair stage. Okay guys, the third stage is called the coasting stage. And tell me if any of this sounds familiar to you. In the third stage, she says, you have your routine down, you feel comfortable with styling your hair, you just wanna be natural already. Sounds familiar? I think I might say that in every last one of my videos for the last few months. Or if I haven't said it, I've been feeling that way. And I am ready to be natural already. Like, come on now. I'm so ready to be done with these relaxed ends and move on to natural hair. And have any of you felt this way now? I'm about 18 months into my transition. And she said on her post, Chime Edwards, by the way, on her post that around 18 months is when she was itching to be fully natural. And what saved her is a few of her friends had already big chopped earlier than they had planned and their hair length wasn't what they were comfortable with and they hated their big chop. So she encourages us who are transitioning to wait until we are comfortable with the length that we want. Don't big chop early just because you want to be natural already. Just hang in there, keep doing good hair practices, cleansing, conditioning, and moisturizing and wait until your hair grows out. And then when you're comfortable at that length, go ahead and big chop. 
So that stage is called the coasting stage. And I feel I'm, a, I'm in this stage now. And yeah, I wonder what stage you guys are in. The fourth and final stage of transitioning to natural hair is called preparing to big chop stage. And I feel like I may be in between the coasting stage and the preparing to big chop stage. But nevertheless, this stage is about getting your mind right. Um, Chime says that we need to be mentally ready to big chop. We need not to have any expectations on what our hair will do. Don't think about or guess the shrinkage. Don't think about or guess the texture, the curl pattern. Have no expectations so there will be no disappointments when we finally do Big Chop at the length that we're comfortable with. And I do agree with her that we really should not expect our hair to do anything um, and let's see what it does. Um, but me, I am a planner. And as you've seen um, in my previous videos, I did do a mini chop on my bangs and a little area on the crown of my head and a little area on the back of my, on the nape of my neck. And I use these areas sometimes because when I do styles, I like to put product on there that I will use once I big chop and I want to see what kind of reaction my hair does so my bangs I will put my con my cleanser conditioner my oil and then I'll try um, some a particular gel and I'll try diff different gels different creams different little twist outs on those small little areas and I haven't big chopped but it allows me to wear part of my natural hair while I do styles if I do a bun I can wear my natural bangs or the curly part of my hair out and I kind of get an idea of what will happen but without having to completely big chop and be completely shocked at the length change but yep that is the fourth and final stage getting your mind right to big chop and preparing yourself and, and if you have been watching any of my videos you'll notice I'm doing a series on before I big chop and these are things that I need to know such as detangling um, conditioners deep conditioners styling um, styles so if you want to stay tuned or updated to my recent videos on things I need to know before I big chop make sure you click that subscribe button so you can be notified when I post a new video um, but you know what my question to you guys what stage are you in I know the stage I'm in thanks so much for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video